Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to handle uh, uh, strings in uh, C++. Okay. So in the last lesson, we have uh, uh, seen how to handle the strings in C style format in C++. Okay. The C++ has more powerful implementation uh, to handle the strings in its own way. Okay. So it is more convenient uh, than handling the strings in uh, normal uh, C style syntax. Okay. So let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using uh, Visual Studio 2013 Express for Windows Desktop. Okay. The last lesson also we have uh, done our coding using this uh, IDE. So uh, previous to that, uh, if you go to my uh, channel in YouTube, so if you go to playlist section here, uh, we have C++ series uh, running currently. So until uh, 10th video, uh, we have used uh, Visual Studio uh, 2012 Express. Okay? So, uh, the videos after that, whatever I am covering now uh, uh, on, the, on all topics in C++, which, which will be done in this uh, uh, ID. Okay? So, Visual Studio 2013 for Windows Desktop. Okay? So, I have uh, made some settings in this ID such that uh, so whatever the code uh, we write here is, uh, is exactly exactly follows the syntax of uh, uh, current standards of uh, C++ okay uh, so already I have uh, created a project under the name uh, CPP style, st style strings here okay so which consists nothing but uh, strings dot CPP so, uh, so let me add this namespace thing also so I have just typed some code previously uh, okay so I'm just I just added the namespace std uh, also in the uh, using uh, namespace the standard namespace okay so uh, c++ uh, has uh, a variety or, or uh, would say a powerful way to handle strings so that is using this uh, uh, string uh, object here okay so there is a string class defined uh, somewhere in this uh, header file uh, uh, hash include uh, string here okay so this is very essential to add uh, so before you are uh, uh, defining or uh, declaring strings with uh, the string object here okay so directly uh, in the last lesson we have said something like this so care name uh, we are taking a character array of some length and then we are uh, uh, trying to assign some uh, value into it uh, using this uh, str cpy function and we have used all these things okay uh, we have <coughs> excuse me so we have done something like this in the last lesson uh, for that purpose we have also used this uh, string dot h file uh, to do all those uh, uh, what we call uh, uh, string uh, string handling functions which were defined in this uh, string dot h file okay so we have done uh, something like this we have taken a name or and we are uh, directly assigning uh, the name with some uh, value like sweetant or whatever you want so whatever you wanted here okay so starting from uh, uh, this is this is the way this is the c style format here okay so this is a, a c style frame of uh, c style uh, syntax of handling uh, strings so c style syntax that's what i comment here of uh, of handling strings okay so starting from C++, uh, directly we have a, a string object which is defined in the string class. So directly you can, uh, let's write another comment here. So C++ style to handle strings. Okay. So let's write a small comment. Okay. So now uh, you can directly uh, say something like this. You can say a string and you can say directly a variable and directly you can assign some value to it uh, let's say uh, again i'm writing in here so we can right so this is a very powerful way uh, to take <coughs> excuse me uh, this is a very powerful way uh, to handle with uh, strings in c++ uh, since uh, you need no, you need not take a character array and uh, you need not use all those uh, annoying uh, string handling functions and you need not add all the excess header files uh, to do all those things here okay so directly you can say something like this see out uh, slash and slash team uh, my name so as you could i'm just putting some message here you can say directly s1 so what happens if you run your program it just displays uh, my name here which is uh, shrikant okay so in the same way you can uh, uh, take another uh, uh, string also something like s2 
uh, you can say uh, the sari so which is my uh, surname okay so again uh, you can have another uh, co statement and you can say something like this uh, co uh, uh, slash and slash t so you can say something like this my uh, surname so is equal to uh, s2 okay so run your program so you get your uh, you get my surname here or surname is equal to okay so in the same way uh, now uh, now comes the real uh, power of handling the strings and with real easiness of handling the strings with c plus okay so here i have taken another uh, uh, string uh, 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 variable uh, of uh, type uh, string object here okay so uh, you can say something like this directly so s3 is equal to s1 plus s2 okay so what happens here is uh, directly instead of using this concatenation function uh, so directly you can use your uh, plus operator uh, to concat uh, those two strings okay so concat uh, those two strings and now uh, so if you say something like this okay so see out session slash t my full name so, so my full name is equal to uh, directly you can say uh, string okay so if you run your uh, program, so you get your uh, message as uh, my full name is equal to uh, Srikan Sari here, okay. So they are both uh, very uh, joined here. Uh, so to overcome uh, that problem, so since we have used the same uh, solution in the last uh, lesson also, so if you have, if you make some uh, single space here, uh, in this uh, when you are uh, uh, defining this uh, string two, uh, so what happens is that space is also uh, write as a string together and uh, automatically some uh, blank space is uh, added between the two uh, strings here okay so now if you run your program you have a little space as that it signifies that uh, your uh, name followed by the surname gives you the full name okay so in this way uh, you can uh, uh, so again if you want you can take another uh, string let's say s4 okay so directly you can uh, assign your uh, full name uh, to that as uh, 4 is equal to uh, now s3 so if you say something like this so what happens is directly whatever the contents of that uh, string concatenated string newly formed newly formed string so whatever the newly formed uh, uh, concatenated string uh, which is uh, defined which is derived by adding those uh, s1 and s2 and we have assigned that in, uh, in the string s3 so again we are assigning that the same string in another uh, uh, string uh, as for here okay string type as for here okay now so if you say something like this uh, you can have also a, a co statement here can okay? you can say the copy of my slash slash team so the copy of my uh, string uh, as string is equal to as for okay so i'm just uh, copied the same string and assigned another string so it will have a message here super silly message you can say that a copy of my string s3 is equal to s4 which is again uh, same uh, full name here, okay so in this way uh, you can handle uh, uh, strings without any uh, jargon of remembering remembering all those uh, uh, string dot uh, string dot h functions annoying string dot h functions which we have uh, dealt in uh, c programming language so C++ also provides uh, you with a very convenient way, very convenient way of handling strings of uh, using uh, the string object which is which is uh, uh, defined in the uh, string class. Okay, so before uh, using the string object, you need to have uh, to add this uh, header file here, hash include string. Okay, so this is the basic stuff about uh, uh, strings, uh, C++ style uh, string handling. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.